All right, so I started going to the gym in February of 2023. That was the first time, that was the first time where I ever started consistently lifting weights. Now, it wasn't really consistent because it was in my, it was in my school gym and we would only have like that gym session four times in two weeks. So twice a week, four times every fortnight. So it wasn't like, you know, I was consistently going every single day, like five days a week, four days a week. I was going twice a week at a school gym. and I was doing it like 55 minutes per session. So it was 55 minutes every day, two days a week for four terms. So basically for 40 weeks, I was doing that, which I guess better than nothing. And it showed in the results. I went from 49 kilograms uh, to like 53 kilograms in the space of two months just uh, so I started in February in March I was like 49 kilograms and in May I was 53 kilograms so I gained four kilograms in, of like muscle in in two months just by like going to the gym and I didn't like really change anything in my diet I was just the only difference I had made was I just I just started going to the gym I just I just started lifting weights now I, since I didn't really progressively overload properly and I, I didn't understand like how, how to progressively overload, I was basically on the same way, doing the same reps for basically after May. So in the beginning, in like the February and March months, like the beginning months, I was obviously moving up. But when I got to like my friends level, like I was working out with some friends there, and when I got to their level, I kind of just stopped myself from going above like what I could actually do. I, I just... I got to a certain point and then I just stopped like increasing the weight or doing something. I just basically got complacent. So I didn't <clears throat> really like get much more weight after that. I'm pretty sure I was like, I was 53 in May and by the end of the school year in December, I was 54. So I really hadn't made much more progress at all since May and that was probably because I was just doing the same weight and like the same reps and the same intensity for like since like after um after may i didn't really change anything since my school year ended in december my summer holiday started and they lasted from december they started on the december 1st and ended just a week ago on the january january 30th and i didn't weight lift at all in between that time period because my school was over and the only you know, sort of way I would, you know, would lift weights. The only way I would lift weights is by going to school. But school was now closed. So I had no way of going. Obviously, I could have gone to a gym, but I just didn't. I just stayed home. Um, and I'm not going to, like, try to make any excuses. Like, yes, it was it was pretty busy in my house. There's, like, renovations going around. So it was pretty busy, but I still could have, like, you know, we have like four kilo dumbbells at home. I could have done those. It would have been, it wouldn't have been nearly as, you know, efficient, but I still could have done something. But as a result of me not going to the gym for only two months, by the way, I'd been going, I started in February and uh, ended in December. That's what, 10 months of going to the gym. I gained around four or five kilograms. In two months, I'm not even kidding. I lost four kilograms by not going to the gym. I am currently 50, almost at 49, teetering in but going back into the 40s. Just because I didn't weight lift for two months. That is insane. I've been eating the same, if not, I've been eating more than I've ever have in my entire life. Uh, and just because I stopped weightlifting, I lost four kilograms. Almost five now. It's pretty bad and now I would have loved to go, but my dad was kind of against me going to the gym. I don't know why, but he's finally agreed on me going to the gym. So I'm going to start going to the gym again this Monday. So tomorrow I'm gonna to get my mem membership. And on Monday, I'm going to start weightlifting again with uh, one of my friends. And I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes. But yeah, if I could like, and even like I, um, in the holidays, it's not like, I was still doing exercise. It's not like I was like just sitting at one place doing nothing. I was still doing exercise. I was still doing like 40 push-ups every single night or almost every single night. Uh, I was, you know, doing some leg raises, some ab workouts. 
and I still just I still kept losing weight no matter what I like I just it was just on the down and down and down so yeah I'm gonna start it again after, after I realized that I, I was literally on 51 I was like what the fuck I'm on 51 now that's that's insane so yeah I'm gonna start weightlifting again uh, and I'm gonna go five days a week four to five days a week uh, instead of twice a week I'm gonna actually get my diet properly I'm gonna progressively overload you guys might see some clips of me in the gym as well and I'm just gonna I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes uh, put like a picture on the screen right now this is my current physique and the end of this year I want to compare myself to this video right here but if there's but if there's a lesson for this video um, be consistent you know don't just be like oh yeah you know I have a six-pack now I'm just gonna stop going to the gym don't it will go away like I've literally noticed like my bicep muscle is literally it decreased in size and it might it might not look it right now but I, I like it was like rock solid now I can literally just like squeeze it and I haven't had that happen in like a year maybe even over a year so don't get complacent just keep going consistently that's all that matters uh, and make sure to progressively overload and get your diet right.